Well, today's announcement follows several weeks of turmoil for the congressman, turmoil that prompted him to promise that he would pay back that public money that was spent to settle the Lauren Green lawsuit. Now, Chief Investigator Rick Spruill joins us now, and as we continue our team coverage, Rick, do you think that's a promise that the congressman still intends to keep? Well, uh, his staff says he's going to, but no one knows exactly when. Congressman Farenthold gave his word he'd repay or at least try to repay the taxpayer money used to settle the Lauren Green lawsuit. And I'm going to uh, get the taxpayers paid back for uh, this settlement. And while he's continued to stress his denial of specific allegations, his promise to repay the money did little to quiet calls for his resignation. Utah Republican Mia Love called it a matter of accountability while local activists flooded Farenthold's office here in Corpus Christi to suggest there has been a swift and massive cultural sea change. Uh, this type of allegation has taken on a new meaning, a new significance. A few days later, an op-ed in the local newspaper calling on Farenthold to resign as a matter of honesty. And now today's retirement announcement, likely part of an agreement with House leadership, one that leaves Farenthold a lame duck lawmaker insisting he did nothing wrong on one hand while admitting some things haven't been entirely right on the other. I allowed a workplace culture to take root in my office that was too permissive and decidedly unprofessional. Well, Farenthold's office called me a short while ago. They say he's still working out the financial details needed to pay that money back. Okay. In the meantime, a lot of people still calling for him to go ahead and resign. Should he decide to do that, what happens? Well, it's actually part of the U.S. Constitution. We checked. Uh, the governor of Texas, uh, Greg Abbott, would call a, spec a special election to replace Farron Throat through the end of his term, which runs through the end of next year. Rick Spruill, Chris 6 News.